testing here we go good evening everyone how are we doing uh, back for another stream daily races it is but we've got a new update so we're gonna give that a check see what it's like uh, well, I need to turn a volume down here there we go Yeah, so update 1.4 is here. It looks, in my opinion, pretty good. Um, so we're going to have a look at what's in there. We've got stuff in the world circuits. And I'm in one of my test accounts. So I'm actually quite interested to see if things are on there. So that's very interesting. So for someone who's new to the game, you're not going to have a lot of the things. So you need to work through your uh, menu book. So. We're not going to delve too much into it because if I change accounts then we're going to um, effectively end the stream. But yeah, it's quite interesting that all those um, weekly challenges you need to get through your menu books. And that's the first thing I'm already seeing on there. Um, I haven't really done them on this, on this account. So yeah, if you haven't done your menu books, you're not going to get a lot of the new um, stuff. So you probably do need to work through it. Um, you know the new cars they will be available um, we've got new scapes um, I'm led to believe so we'll see what's in there so hey Oliver Olivia that's not me oh that's Olivia hi Sarah and I am Chucky right being a youtuber indeed I am uh, nice to meet you um, you're the photographer nice to meet you um, I'm also a bit of a photographer myself um, in 2,500 spots around the world, um, on the menu on the left, Switzerland, America, wherever you want, and you have access to a fully functional camera. Now you'll be able to get these, get into the details when creating a shot. Now, with this, um, I've heard there is um, the shutter speeds have changed, so that will be quite interesting in terms of making um, photos. So, effectively, the the quicker the shutter speed is, the the, the quicker you snap the photo, basically. So if you turn your shutter speed all the way down um, you're gonna get more motion blur because the shutter will click and anything that happens in between those two clicks will mean that the light that's captured will stay in there so that's how you get all those um, uh, light trails hey Max um, yeah back in the saddle I have been for a couple of days so um, it's, it's good to be back in here um, with a new look um, you might have noticed uh, but I want to try and see if I can get a little um, motion um, to try and see the shutter speed because the shutter speed will be pretty incredible. Now they got up to eight thousandth of a second in the shutter speed, which um, I don't know if that's actually going to be um, much good. So we'll have a look. Actually, or did they lower the shutter speeds? Right, uh, shutter speed. Right, okay, this is where it gets very interesting. So, well, I have to do a shot here on this account, but we might have a little bit of photography. Um, um, yeah, we're not going to save that, save it to the library. Right, so I want to go into find a spot, but I want to find a spot that's um, quite dark. I want something in the city um, genre. Uh, so I want like an urban yeah so this is what we want and I want to see if I can capture some sort of light trails in the game so if anyone's um, wondering like I used to do photography and light trails is one of my favorite things to do um, right, let's do this one uh, St. Mary's in London such a one of the places I have been tempted to go and do actual photos there uh, we'll get um, what should we take there? Let's take. Do I have a mini? The old mini? Yeah, I do. Right, we're going to take this old school mini. Uh, and we're going to try and do a bit of. Right, so if we start there. Right. Let's see if I can do it in game. Now we're going to go into the camera and my aperture. Um, really, what, what this does uh, for anyone who's interested is the aperture just it's basically the bokeh in the background so whatever's not in focus uh will be more blurred out so we're gonna get the focus in there 
Right, so if we have that's the base picture, um, the focus is done, and then we're going to expose exposure correction. Let's just turn the brightness up effectively. Uh, but actually, because right, so because we're going to have a lower shutter speed, in theory, in theory, is you don't need as much of the exposure compensation because you get more light in. So an eighth of a second. So we want a quarter of a second. Or we want half a second. Right, so we'll do a quarter of a second, see what we get. Um, aspect ratio, we're going to turn that into 16 by 9. Right, okay, that gives us a bigger shot. Um, for the car, we want to do a bit of um, travel speed. No, we don't want that. So travel speed. Right, okay. So let's say the car's going at 50 mile an hour. Uh, headlights, let's turn them on. Uh, and the brake lights, we definitely need them on for this. Uh, why not the hazard lights? Drift settings, detail set. Right, okay, so in theory, uh, we've got a car traveling through the city at 50 mile an hour, and we're gonna get a light trail. We should, let's just check that out. Well, that's not quite right, okay, this is the difference. We have to look at something here. So in terms of the camera, Panning. Let's turn that off and see if that makes a difference because we don't want the camera to actually move. We want the camera to stay bang on, right? And that's not really worked, right? So, right, why is that? Right, so you need the panning on, right? Okay, so target car is the mini, right? We don't want the camera to track, it must be here. Right, let's have a look. We need the background to stay still. No, that's not it, but that's actually quite interesting. Right. What if it goes all the way up here? Right, okay. That's not quite... What's done is doing the, the opposite of what we need it to do, so... We don't want it to target the car. We want to turn that off. Uh, the fourth of the second. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's very much intuitive to photography. <clears throat> yeah, so that that doesn't work as it should. Mainly because, um, actually, let me see. If I add another car, place new car. So if we just pop this Integra in there, that'll be a parked car in the city of London. Just parked up like they normally do anyway. Um, right, so if the target car is going to be the Integra, so I want to pan to that car, so I want it to focus on that. What happens? Yeah, it does. It doesn't do it. Um, what it's tending to do is tending to blur the, blur the background where we want to um, blur. Well, not not blur. It's tending. It's moving the background where we want it to. Fixate on the um, on the actual background. Yeah, so that that's not really working. I'll have to play around with that. But uh, hey, cars, how are you, mate? Uh, welcome along. We're just testing out the new cameras function um, with the new shutter speeds. Uh, but anyone that's watching, if you haven't hit the like button, please do go ahead and do hit it um, and see if we can get ourselves up to at least ten to start off with uh, before we get into our first race. Um, now, in terms of world circuits on this account, there's not much I can do because I haven't got um, a lot of the tracks on this. So, yeah, so you will need to work through the game to... Right, so we've got Sakuba and Suzuka with the um, AI. Um, yeah, so main thing is to get a lot of the features, you need to play the game. You need to actually work yourself through the different um, menu books get into it um, and then you'll get that accessibility do we get um, the paddock we get the paddock so let's have a pop into there and just have a look at the paddock um, yeah I've heard to, I've heard um, I haven't watched yesterday's episode um, so I will be watching that uh, later on or maybe tomorrow um, I, I need to read up on it because it, it says he's signed but it's something to do with his energy drink which 
I don't know what that um, refers to, if that's just maybe a commercial deal that he's signed or if it actually means he's going to appear on screen. Um, but I, I'm keen. I, I like the idea of the Nature Boy being in AEW. Um, and I know the tickets go on sale for All In uh, next month. So in just about a month. So I'll definitely be getting tickets for that. Um, so who knows, I might see Ric Flair um, next year and tick up another mega star off my bucket list. Um, Paddock does seem to take a bit of time to, yeah, so it's still having issues with it. Uh, oh no, not in a match. It uh, I really hope it's not a match. Um, he's had his last match though, um, which was against Andrade. No, it was with Andrade against um, Jeff Jarrett last year, I think it was, or was it even this year? Yeah, so Paddock's still a bit of a pain, but we're going to go into daily races, um, into sports mode. Mode sport. Um, does that? Oh, I need to. All right. Okay. Are we back? We're back. All right. So let me make sure my wheel is connected. Uh, right. So I have some time trials here, haven't I? Right. Still thirty six five. So I'll get a silver on that. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'll play with these at some point. Uh, interesting. Okay, because I'm on the American account, that's why. Right, so we're going to get... Um, should we do a daily B? So that's 15 minutes, so half an hour. So 50. Right, so if we do two daily Bs, we should then get into a daily um, C. So I just need to find the gloves now. So if you give me two seconds, guys. You can't wait to see, well, you can't say Edge, you can't say Edge. Adam Copeland, Adam Copeland is what you have to say. Um, yeah, the the, the storyline, one thing, like, if I'm looking at my phone, I mean, I've probably switched it off, but um, I just happen to follow two communities where um, there's a lot of, you know, um, tribalism, let's just say. Um, and one is the wrestling community, one's GT7 um, versus Forza. So, yeah, the, the, the whole story between Edge and Christian, or um, Adam Copeland um, and Christian Cage, also known as Jay, um, is ridiculously good. Um, I don't care what people say, it's one of the best stories in wrestling at the moment. But we'll have to see it pan out. I mean, the who's behind the mask is probably the most interesting thing actually in wrestling and i just said two of them but it shows how good aw is um and just really key curious to know who is behind the devil's mask a lot of rumors going around is it cm punk is it Britt baker is it adam cole Right. I'm going to go and get a bit of a few laps at this track. <clears throat> Do you don't think it's cold? One of the rumours I've heard today is that it's Britt Baker, which fits in. If she asks Cole to choose between her and MJF. It can't be him under the mask, but it can play into the storyline. 
I think it's Punk. I have a very big suspicion it could be CM Punk. Get a drink. <clears throat> I see why people say he will be back in WWE, and they have been dropping a lot of hints. <clears throat> what if it's the biggest work in wrestling history? What if they are playing one of the biggest kayfabe storylines? <clears throat> the same as they're playing MJF leaving to WWE, where he's probably already signed the contract. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Um, he was never going to be on that poster for two reasons. One, we don't know if he signed a new contract, and his contract ends in January on the 1st. Um, but also, if he has signed a new contract, they are playing the storyline of the bidding war. So, you wouldn't put it on there just for storyline purposes. Although I will be gutted if he does go. I love MJF. I think it's the best thing in wrestling. But it just means I have to watch a different company. A bit more often. Alright, okay. We have one lap. Yeah, there will be a lot more Hollywood issues. Hey Flash! MJF might go to Hollywood as well. He'll be another movie star out of the um, wrestling business. He's got it all. Thanks for stopping by Flash. Do appreciate it mate. do tonight is we're going to do two daily bees and I think that should then uh, take us into a daily scene. Yeah, I hope it's for good reasons that he's leaving. I hope it's not for more like health situations. But Roman's probably got a movie in the bag or something. Yeah, mate, I love it. I noticed you um, 
copied a couple of tweet, um, liked a couple of tweets. I'm, um, I'm a big fan. Like, it's I've watched it since I was a kid. You know, like I can always remember watching wrestling, especially like uh, Saturday Night Sting, WCW, um, and then with the, with the pandemic, it's like helped my mental health. So I'll always watch it. Um, wrestling um, I've only ever been to two shows but I will be going to a lot more uh, we were just talking about that flash I, I don't I don't know I like why would there's two things right so why would they openly just hint at it um, and it makes absolute sense but AEW is a private company and we don't know if he's actually been fired or not. We do not know if Punk was fired. Um, and is he behind the mask? Um, you watch Hogan versus a warrior at WrestleMania 6, blimey. Were you there? Oh, if you were there, that's mega. Um, I mean, one of my favourite matches, is it was it at SummerSlam in, at Wembley? Is is Hart versus Bulldog. Um, that one always sticks in there. Um, but I was always a WCW guy um, back in the day. <coughs> um, you know, so I'm more of a, a Wolfpack kind of guy. Um, but yeah, I used to love Macho Man. Ultimate Warrior, I mean, when he partnered with Sting, um, not a lot of people know about that. Uh... Oh, was it Royal Rumble? remember where it was but yeah it's one of the matches that I've like that was that was quality. I used to have the little sticker book back in the day as well. I like the Panini stickers. Oh on TV. I went to live in 98. Finney and giant haystacks. Nice. Finney was good. He still is. His son wrestles now I think. I don't remember what his um name is but he goes by Finney as well. I've only ever been to two. I went to All In. Oh, arrows in the race. Um, I went to All In last year, and I went to um, a WWE house show. Four years a day, popped up on my phone. Take a versus thing that would be amazing, but it will never happen. WWE house shows are pretty good, I must say. I went to the one in Leeds a few years back. I want to do more independent wrestling. <clears throat> I want to go to a Rev Pro show. Because uh, my favourite wrestler at the moment is uh, Will Ospreay. And he turns up at Rev Pro very often. Yeah, Jericho's a legend. Oh, the Attitude, attitude Era. That was the golden time of wrestling, because you had the Attitude Era in WWF. And then... In WCW, you had the NWO. So, and you had them back to back competing on the same nights. It's what frustrates me about the wrestling community, though, is because, you know, like, I'm, I want both shows to be good. I, I watch WC, 
WWE and I watch AEW and like, a lot of it on Twitter is like oh, AEW sucks and then we don't want them um, and all this sort of stuff. It's like the reason WWE is good now is because AEW exists. You know the whole thing of competition. And for the wrestlers as well, it means they get a good paycheck at the end of the day now because they've got options. Oh, Scott Hall. What a man. Yo. We've got our friend Arrow just in front. That's it, competition is what you need. Like The whole fact that Impact is going back to TNA from January, even more of a good sign for the business. Yeah, Vince is a bad man. I don't know what the whole merger with UFC is going to end up doing, but... I hope it's good. Oh no, the track limits. But yeah, I'm going to um all in next year. I'm going to be buying tickets as soon as they're out. My mate's going as well. And I really hope it's going to be a mega show. I can see the Irish likeness though, isn't it? We don't have a lot of um, Portuguese wrestlers at the moment, so I have to stick with other cars. Uh, no, Ronda is back. She's a free agent. She was um, doing um, an indie show with um, Marina Shafir. Married to Roderick Strong, um, so obviously the rumours are going around that she might be going to AEW. Which I'm not going to complain. If Ronda Rousey goes to AEW, that would be good. Ooh. I'm just glad she's doing indie shows, which shows that. She actually does like wrestling and not just for the money. A whole second. Uh, do we do we send it on on Arrow? Oh, Arrow's backed out. We've got to give him room here. Is Dolph going? Yeah, most unlikely. Um, they're, they're bringing it into storyline. They've um, they've already got um, I think a program set up with Miro because um, was it Collision last week? Um, Miro beat up um, Ryan Neff Nemeth, who's um, Dolph Ziggler's brother.
Oh, I watch a lot more now than I used to. I think since um, AEW came along, I've watched more of the in-ring stuff. And during the pandemic as well. I gave up listening to the podcast because it was a bit like Gran Turismo Twitter uh, at the weekend. It was all very negative. Oh, I'll just get more penalties. They just stacked up. Where are you going, sir? Kenny's um, battered and bruised. I'm surprised he came back um, after his last injury. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've, I've kind of bit this week. Um, you know, like, I, ju I just get tired with, like, I, I enjoy Gran Turismo 7 for, for what it is. Uh, where is Arrow? Is that Arrow? No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know which one's Arrow. Oh no, which one's Arrow? <laughs> I don't know, Arrow. If you're gonna come in, I'm sorry, I can't see you on there. Um. Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, so this is new. What happened to our? Uh, uh RSRDR RSR went down. Oh no. Okay, so that's interesting. So. Top eight improve, the bottom eight don't. Right, that's what we thought anyway. Um, yeah, just it's not even Discord, it's just Twitter. It's, I think I'm not going to name names, but like hearing <clears throat> the language used by some YouTubers um, in the last couple of days is is pretty pretty bad. Like there's having discussions and then there's insults, um, which has been quite um, disappointing. Um, yeah, it just it's just been disappointing to hear like people insulting others um, when they have different opinions, you know. Um, right, so we missed that one. So if we do that, ten past fifteen minutes is twenty four. Right, it should take us into the next one. Um, yeah, just the insults have just not been uh, nice. Um, it's just not needed, um, you know. But it is what it is. Um, you can't please everyone. But yeah, wrestling needs competition. Um, games need competition. Everything needs competition. The only way things get better is through competition. Like you look at this big update that we've had um, today um, is in response to to Forza. I'd, I've been saying it for months and months. I've been saying wait until Forza comes out and we were going to get a massive update on the Gran Turismo. Um, I, knew, I called Sophie. I called the AI. Sophie was going to be there. Um, it was just a matter of time. Um, and thing, thing, thing with sport mode, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it because I know I'm, I've, I've been meaning to be doing an open, um, open letter sort of thing, video to address it. And, you know, um, Sport mode will get more cars. Um, like we don't currently, we do not need more race cars in Gran Turismo. Frankly, at the moment, we probably don't need any cars in Gran Turismo Seven. Um, we need more more cars in lobbies. We need to have twenty lo twenty cars in the lobbies. We need better stability. We need more variation. We need the weather to be you know, more day to night, more wet weather. We need a longer daily race D. We need so many things before we get new cars. You know, like new cars are great, but you know, um, yeah, PS4, we bl blame PS4. The GT Sports servers are, are gonna be switched off. Um, so once that happens, we're gonna get more server space for Gran Turismo 7. Um, 
Yeah, um, and I think with what you mean, you're saying there, Flash, like people enjoy the game in different ways. Um, the insults, you definitely don't need them. Um, telling someone that they masturbate to something else, like to, to PD or the, you know, that someone can go and suck them off. There's a stream that said other streamers and YouTubers can go and suck him off. That is not needed. That's just, um, you know, um, so, you know, there's, there's opinions and there's idiocy, but it is what it is. Um, you have enough of Roman reigns in and out. Well, you know, um, he's, um, He's a bit like Marmite, you either love him or you hate him. Um, what cars can we use? Should we try something different? Um, I don't know, we've got five minutes, so... What should we go for? What was that one? That was hidden. Um, should we go for a Ferrari? Or, no, Veyron. It's going to be too... Well, Veyron could be an option, but... What looks nice? What looks nice? Oh, epic. We'll just go back in the Mazda. We'll go great. Oh, LA night. It, it just shows you, like, no one liked the guy five years ago when he wasn't LA night, when he was Eli Drake. Um, <clears throat> and the amount of times I've gone in the house uh, over the last four years and said, Eli Drake, yeah. Um, is, is, is ridiculous. I used to love him on Impact. Um, I thought he was brilliant. I used to love him on NWA. Um, so the fact that he's probably one of the biggest stars now is ridiculous. Um, such a character. And he's, and he's kind of like a, a mixture of The Rock and Stone Cold in one. Like one packet. If you had The Rock, Stone Cold, that's LA Knight. Um, dummy, yeah. Um, and um, but it's funny, like when because what annoys me about WWE is they they can forget in their storylines about every other company. You know they, they're talking about when well, they had their sit down last week. I saw it on YouTube. Reigns going saying, "Oh, you've never been in a championship match or a contract sign." I'm like, the guy's a multiple time champ world champion in different organisations. Um, but yeah, he's such a breath of fresh air. Cody, yes, I get why people like him, um, and I love Cody as well, um, I think WWE is the right place for him, uh, but I don't think Cody cares about the fans as much as he probably should, which is why he jumped shipped, because everyone wanted Cody to turn heel, um, and he would refuse to do it, because Cody wants to be the nice guy, he wants to be the new John Cena, but the fans wanted Cody to turn, because he's such a good heel, he is so much better as a heel than he is a face. Cody did not want to turn. And he's crazy because if you've got a tall peck you just do not get in the ring. And you and, and you also don't put burn yourself in the ring. But he does help make stars. Like he made I think MJF. Whereas Flash enjoy. Are you streaming anytime soon? Where we can jump on and watch you. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Ricky starts. Yeah, he does. Alright, well no red flash. One tip I was given, try the original OBS, not Streamlabs, um, and use Stream Elements. That's what I was told. Um, I found I, when I've switched, I found it easier. But obviously, do go with what's easiest for you. Um, who have we got in here? Who have we got? Right. So we've got no one that we know. Right. We've got a drivers in there. Uh, let's do this. YouTube, there we go. See if anyone subscribes. Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, have a good one. Um, I'll catch you soon. Uh, right. Also, if anyone is out there and you haven't hit that like button, would you do me the favour and the honour of pressing it? You don't have to, but it would help. And I wonder if it'll actually make us drive any better. Probably not, but you know, worth trying, check in. Right, so we're gonna start P14 in the Mazda Touring Car Championship. Look at all those lovely Mazdas. I did sign for Mazda in the Nations. And then the manufacturers, but I've only done one race. Right, well, here we go. What's our predictions? Where do we think we'll end here? Where do we think we will end? Oh, we're in the grey one. I thought we were in the white. No, we did go grey, didn't we? Let's get past Snoopy. Clean into turn one, Chunky. Clean enough. That'll do. That'll do. manage that wheel spin. Seems to get a lot of wheel spin in second gear. did it. We gave enough room, quality racing through that middle sector. I'm hoping it's the red and white that's the track limits. Back of my Dragula, he's got a penalty. Good exit. <clears throat> I don't take the opportunity because that guy on the left was going for it. Someone's gone straight into the kitty litter! The P10 
10. that little gap. Are we catching? We are catching. They're battling. Just need to keep it clean here, Chunky. Someone else has gone into the kitty litter. Up into P8 already. Oh, two more are gone. P6. Just a case of mistaken identity there. Yeah, I got caught up in their little battle. See by the message. painful if I did. I need to get another three temps in this guy behind.
P5! 5 P5! That was good, that was fun. That was actually the best fun I've had on the Daily B this week. Right, so F race are the two A rated drivers and uh, Dick Dogs. Up nine places. That is good going, chunky. Yes, and our DR's gone up. It's gone up. Alright, well, we'd save that because this is a potential for uh, a short stare, a short video on this um, race. Two seconds, guys. Uh, what was I checking there? <coughs> right. So, what do we do? Do we do another daily B or do we go into a C? What do you guys think? Just have a little chill break here. Check where the... My page. Right, so our B is about... So I think we're going to go to Daily C. Uh, what's the... Thing saying? Right, the Nismo seems to be the car. Right, do I have a Nismo in this garage? I don't, so we're going to rent one. The 18, Nismo 18. There we go. In the GT movie livery, of course. Right. And what is the lap time? I think if I'm going to see if I can get a qualifying time. Uh, two 13s. What's the top 500? Two fifteens. Right, so mid two fifteen if I can get it would be nice. That's not a good way to start, is it, Chunky? Racing softs. Here we go. Up the Rouge, Brady on. There we go. Also, thanks to anyone who's joined. Do appreciate you guys there lurking. If you haven't hit the like button, if you would do me the honour of hitting it, it would be amazing to help out the channel.
go to sea. get a bit easier and gain a load of time. I'll get around to doing another one. That's got wide as well. And deep here. I'll try, can I get... I don't even have a set up on this, so I know I'd probably tinker the car a little bit more. Very ragged lab. Nah, just not great. finish it. But hey ho.
Let's change our tyres. Actually, we'll start on softs. And we'll do that. And then we're pretty much ready to rumble. Let's see what we can do. USA lobbies in the Nismo GTR 2018. Horrible starting position. He's right on my rear end. You can't go too wide through here. Someone's already hit the barrier. I'm not giving you the room, I'm giving you the space. in first lap there already so we're on the soft so we need to make up the time and I'm going to say try and save them by moving that brake balance don't know how well it'll do but Made me work for it. 
But they were all over the place. Depends where they come out with traffic now, really. But we'll be on goodish medians when they'll be on used softs.
away from the guys behind. It's going to be just what we need when we eventually pit. least going to get to lead the race.
big question is, has Bubba stopped? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Yeah. Starting to get a little bit less tired. But, oh gosh, I've done it again. Um, but yeah, just getting a bit more sleep, doing better. I'm just trying to get back to a routine. Still can't get myself to grips with the driving though. I'm getting there. I think I need to hop on ACC and learn how to drive properly again. Seven's already a good start from where we were. Just be level we started. Seven it is. Not complaining at all. I'm going to get up on the last penalty. Every day. And we 
it might get a little blue up arrow in our DR in this one. to our last one, Daily C. I'll get a couple of qualifying laps in to see if I can improve my starting place. Enter with a car and we're going to find it. Uh, we're going to go into the Burgundy. Ooh. Cheers, yeah, that was, um, I quite like that one. Best race I've had all week. Um, just had to take advantage of the different issues people were having, just stayed out on track a bit longer, just focused on my race really. Don't think it's oil oily. I think I am on 1440. I'll have a look. 
I don't really get frame drops. Maybe on ACC I do. Might work for that. Textures. playing Gran Turismo 7, the real driving simulator. Park it there for a few seconds. 217.9 should move us up a couple of spots. Uh, yeah, we're on the... F what we... Do we get to P10? So I'm hoping that, that with that, we get to start on the straight. Right, so we're going to go with the, let's go with the softs, we'll go softs, <clears throat> um, because I think more people will stop, I want to be have a bit more free track, um, no idea, a lot of B-rated drivers, Mr. Robinho is quick, and Bubba is quick as well. But yeah, if it, while we're getting into the race, if anyone hasn't hit the like button, if you would do be that honour and help the channel out by pressing the like button, it would be amazing. Right. Last race, P10. I think we're going to start just right after that corner. Uh, 
Thanks, Lee. You do appreciate it. I know I could always trust on you to hit that like button. things I said about your your rig. That's shockingly. Really shocking behaviour that. Let's go. Up this hill, I should be able to catch the pack. When we get to the next turn, at the end of the camel straight. Whatever it's called, there is a name to it. became the go-to car. Robinho's gone in. There was a little bit of a push to pass, but if I stay ahead, he'll get in my slipstream. Going into straight. I don't know if he can keep up, that is. Very, very early.
contacting the guy up front. Slightly, but he does it. Baby Butter Belly. Oh, come on, baby Butter Belly. Butter Butter Belly. Canadian one, two, three here. Quicker than me on the mediums. Jeez. Troll, you're a good troll to me anyway. And generally those guys with the big um they go around in just nappies. Where did they go? And uh, they have like white oh no, I'm thinking smurfs. The trolls normally go around naked I think, with blue spiky hair. I think that's what a troll is. You play with them as kids, don't you?
is a thing called a why not virgin. Which I think you might fall into that category. But then I think I always also fit into it. So it's a bit of a knob. I mean, you can't use that word though, that's the other thing. I think Rory's one of the nice guys. Actually, I don't think. Rory is one of the good guys. I don't think it's as brutal as a London humour.
guy behind. I don't think we're catching the guy in front. Need to be close in case there's any penalties or incidents, but I don't think we're catching them. see what that does we should get our DR up there A good result. 26k credits. We'll let them do this. We got to promote the channel, save the replay, and back out. 
but yeah I think we're gonna leave it there guys um, if we get one more like just one more just hit the 10 would be amazing we've got 10 people in nine likes if we could just get to 10 but yeah we're gonna leave it there um, call it a day um, with the new update if you haven't played the many books just bear in mind that you won't get a lot of the new content so do go and play those uh, many books get them completed and then you will get all the um, updates such as the weekly challenges in the single player mode but yeah I've been chunky uh, I will catch you guys on the next one goodbye as well um, Lee um, my one's better than yours um, and I'll catch you on the next one Chunky out.